I think it sort of all boils down to um, playing well with others. And when it comes to the pool, I think the most awesome thing that you can do for teaching kids sportsmanship and swimming and fitness is playing well with others. And um, I th threw one of these discs over to my um, my hero, Bob Steele, you know, and he talks about water polo in his games book. But hey, you know, you play water polo and you can break a finger, you can get the ball in your face, you can have tears. You know, the guys get a little out of hand. But this is a game that I think our industry and our sport needs because you can throw it, it doesn't hurt, but there's a lot of motion. It's a lot of that 80 20. <laughs> it's put it in that 80 thing. Rather than having a recovery day or a blood um, movement day, get at the disc and play a game of swim. It's like swim, but the second letter is K because this skims along the water. And little kids can do it, their parents can do it, and everybody in between. And so I want to invite you guys to play swim with me and each other or whatever at the pool. So to swim is a great way to um, polarize our sport, I think. Um, so we need more, more swim play. Um, it's cheap. Need this. They, they're selling the Red Cross site or um, E Lifeguard. You can play it like ultimate frisbee in the pool, or you can play it um, where you go past the backstroke flags. It would be a score or a touchdown. You can also play it what we call slot style into the gutter, um, or we have a, a goal. Now this is a prototype um, that is um, that I have that I put in the cards. Light, easy to carry. The, the bigger regulation swim goals or um, someday we're going to come back to, to an ISCA thing and, and have your teams, you know, have your headbands and we're all going to play an afternoon of swim. And, um